was my 2024 year and honestly I'm, I'm pretty happy with it uh it didn't go perfectly clearly we all saw it like going seven for nine wasn't the best day uh, but I'm still happy because despite the adversity that I actually had to deal with within the meet I was still able to stay out of my freaking head and keep it together and actually have somewhat of a successful total uh, biggest issue when it came to anything was obviously my squat. Uh, second attempt, there was a communication issue, whether it was between the lifters or the spotters. Uh, they were under the impression that if you walk away it out, you don't lift the hooks on the monorack. But the lifters were like, no, you always lift the hooks on the monorack. Doesn't really matter. And they did it on my first attempt, but they didn't do it, try to do it on my second attempt. So I don't really know where the communication was lost. At the end of the day, though, I'm not going to sit here and say the reason why I didn't get my third attempt was because of them. Uh, but clearly, it was a pretty major factor. It got into my head. Uh, so it is what it is. I was still able to get a 10-pound PR on my actual meat total, or I'm sorry, my actual squat total on my meat day. Uh, so I'm happy with that. When it comes to benching, it is what it is. <laughs> like, let's be real. We knew this going into it. Uh, I need to work on being more consistent with my bench. I am happy that I was able to get my second attempt though on my third attempt overall uh, because I would have been pretty upset going into this meet only getting my first attempt on a bench. Like, let's be real. Second attempt, I get it. Third attempt, it's kind of an overreach. Uh, but I didn't even get to that point. So clearly, work needs to be done. Lastly, the deadlift, I didn't expect any of that. 365 was not supposed to move as quickly as it did. It absolutely shocked me. Going up to the bar, I'm like, you know, deadlifts haven't been consistent. You got to pull the weight. You got to lock it out quick. You got to show that weight who's boss. And man, did it not work because I pulled that weight and I locked it out quickly. And that weight went right back down. I had no stability. That whip of that bar just took me for a ride. Everybody thought I passed out. 
uh, which looking at the footage, it kind of looks like I did, but I didn't. It was the whip of the bar took me right back down, which was shocking because it's never moved that quickly. This whole training cycle, he had on like lighter weights and never moved that quickly. Uh, so I was very surprised. And then going into my second attempt, it kind of made me want to pull 407 because if I pulled 407, I would have broken the thousand pound barrier on my second attempt. And then I would have had a shot at the desired total of 1025 on my third. I chose not to do it though. And that is because for those of you that don't know, if you don't have the successful attempt on each one of your lifts, it counts as bombing out. You are no longer in the meet. So I chose to play it safe, pull 375 for my second attempt, not as quickly, more under control and get it so I could stay within the meet. And then that's when I went on to the 407 and I broke the thousand pound total, which is something I've never done in the meet, which I'm happy about because usually I get in my head, I screw it up today or not today, that week, I didn't screw it up, which I'm happy about. Ultimately though, I am slightly disappointed because how great that 407 felt means if I took the risk, I would have had that 1025 total. Now, the reason why that 1025 total is important is because, well, you, uh, WPC still has lifting standards. So like a classes, so from class four all the way up to elite, that would have made me a class three, which would have been the, within the top 50 percentile of uh, lifters. And that would have been a pretty cool accomplishment to say that I'm within the top 50 percentile of a 75 kilo weight class. Um, because I didn't do that, I will have to say if, you know, me and the other half schedule like aligns with it, I'm going to compete probably within six months again to chase that total once again, hopefully a lot easier than this last meet. Uh, I can't really say that I'll be at the 75 kilo weight class though, considering how hard it was for me to get back to 165 and to maintain it. Like overall, I got into the meet, I weighed in at 162. The next day I jumped on the scale just to see where I was at. By the time I just eating in a normal calorie surplus that I always did prior to cutting weight, I was back up to 168. So I put on six and a half pounds in less than 24 hours. It's crazy. My body does not want to be 165 anymore. So we'll have to see closer to that date if I'm even close to that 75 kilo weight class. If not, I'll just move on up to the 81s. It is what it is. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, but ultimately, yeah, it was super fun. I was happy with it. I was happy to keep everything together. And surprisingly, I managed to take like second overall, which was, you know, it is, it's, it is an achievement, but like WPC isn't the most prominent federation in Ontario. Like if you want to jump on that, you're going to have to go on like IPF CPU, but that costs way too much for me. Like I'm cool with just lifting with the act, like just lifting with lifters. And that's kind of what WPC is. So I'm happy with that. So it still is an accomplishment, but you're not going to hear me being like, oh, I'm number two in the world. I'm like number two of this nationally ranked meet, which I was happy about. Uh, and surprisingly, I got drug tested, which was super weird, considering I didn't do anything extravagant, in my opinion. I will say, though, I came in pretty shredded, considering I was like 170 and change, and I had to drop down to like 162. So that might have been the reason why they wanted to drug test me. They say it's at random but they were calling me up before I even completed the meet for drug testing to say like, you're being drug tested, man, like get ready. So it was kind of weird that, and having a 280 pound power lifter watch me pee to make sure I'm not tampering with the urine sampling, the urine sample is pretty weird. Uh, not gonna lie, but it's what I signed up for. If I'm going to compete in a drug tested thing, I got to be prepared to be drug tested, right? But guys, thank you so much for sticking around, watching all the training that I've been doing over the last year or so. I don't even know anymore. It just, it's constantly training footage. Let's be real guys. But thank you. And thank you all that came in and watched the live stream for those of you that could. I know it apparently like dropped off a couple of times, but thank you for all the support and just Generally, overall, thank you. I do truly appreciate it. If you guys want to see anything else, just do me that favor, go down below, drop me some comments. I'd love to hear you have to say. And then once you're done there, please hit the like, share, and subscribe to spread that love. And I will see you next time.